distortion on the news. She didn't have a horse to ride. Her parents couldn't or wouldn't get one for her. So she took one of the family cows <laughs> and not only taught it how to, to accept a rider, but also taught it to jump like a horse. <laughs> What farm or wild animal would you like to teach to do something? And how would you go about that? <laughs> Thank you, Table Topics Master. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters. The animal that I think will be the best to learn how to ride and, and to teach this, I don't know if it's possible, it would be a large Australian kangaroo. <coughs> now maybe they can't do it, but I, I think it would be interesting because you would ride it kind of like a dinosaur back in the days where it kind of stands up and maybe you could place a saddle on there. I've always liked the legerity of the kangaroos, how they can hop, and I think, I think that's why it would be so much fun is because rather than just riding, you could hop with the kangaroo. Like I said, I don't know if there's one large enough, but that's the first thing that came to mind if I could find a fantastic animal to ride. I love that girl of the, of the cow, and, and uh, I don't think the cow has as much legerity as a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> but I think hopping through the Australian desert on a kangaroo, I think that has a nice image. And uh, what else would I do with a kangaroo? Maybe then I could be like a cow, wear a cowboy hat and, and uh, work a ranch with a kangaroo. I think that would be a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Fellow